Good morning and welcome to the Edelman competition. My name is Ann Robinson and I'm the chair of this year's competition. I'd like to remind all of you to turn off your cell phones and keep noise to the minimum as this event is being recorded. Uh, every competitor will have 40 minutes to present followed by a 10 minute Q&A with the judges. And I welcome our first finalist of the day, Barco. Okay, good, uh, good morning. My name is Robert Butte. I am Professor Operations Management at Vlerik Business School and University KU Leuven in Belgium. Together with my colleagues, I will present how Barco, a global innovative technology firm, used operations research to improve the efficiency in its operations in order to cope with the growing product portfolio and the pressure to stay cost competitive. Vlerik Business School is an international, triple accredited business school with MBA and executive programs ranked by Financial Times. KU Leuven is one of the oldest and most renowned universities in Europe, and it is ranked amongst Europe's most innovative universities. This project was the main focus of the PhD of my colleague, Maud van den Broeke. She is now professor at ESX School of Management in France with campuses in Paris and Lille. Finally, Christophe Denere is supply chain manager of the healthcare division at Barco. Christoph was a project manager of this project at Barco. Let me introduce Barco. Barco is a stock listed global technology company that designs and develops visualization and collaboration solutions such as displays, projectors, and connectivity tools for a number of selected professional markets, enterprises, healthcare, and entertainment. The more than 3,500 employees focus on enhancing customer experience through new innovative technologies resulting in annual sales exceeding $1 billion. Innovation is at the core of Barco's DNA. 10% of the revenues is yearly reinvested in R&D, and about one-fifth of, of Barco's employees are engineers. Our project was in the healthcare division, which designs and produces high-technology displays used for medical analysis and diagnostics in mammography, surgery, and dentistry. For your reference, this display has a special Illuminate feature, the display costs more than $35,000. The following video shows a snapshot of Barco's product offering.
Now, why did we start this project? We have asked Piet Kandel, Barco's Vice President Sales and former President of the Healthcare Division, to provide you with the background of this project. Hello, everybody, and warm greetings from the Barco headquarters, the one campus building in Kortrijk, Belgium. I'm very pleased to know that Barco is nominated for the Franz Edelman Award. The project started when there was a substantial need for growing the business and there was a specific request from our customers and markets to double up our product portfolio. The platform thinking affected the division substantially in terms of uh, thinking about overall complexity of the business, supply chain, working capital, logistic channels and product portfolio thinking. Many sectors across the world are confronted with increasing product portfolio. A great trend for consumers, it leaves them with plenty of choice to select a product that fits their personality. Supply chain experts, however, become nervous when they see this slide, not only because there are way too many icons on screen, but because such variety brings huge challenges to the company. At Barco, our existing customers have been growing, and also we invested in growth, leading to new customers. Result? The number of sellable finished good variants in, health, in the healthcare portfolio increased from 100 to 168 over the last five years. This puts us in the same row as the other markets our portfolio has been growing good for, uh, for customers and patients, but resulting in challenges for Barco. What drives this extra variance in our market? First of all, new technologies like electro electronic components, new medical scanners. Secondly, with healthcare budgets being under pressure, we constantly improve our products so that pr practitioners can work faster. Third, we provide more products to emerging markets, but they want lower end products. New regulations force us to drive new product variants, for instance, uh, environmental requirements in China. And finally, competition and customer requests urge us to offer solutions to their latest innovations. The increasing product variety caused a lot of pressure on the company. What happens if you put a lot of pressure on your company, it will lead to an explosion. In our case, an explosion of costs. We saw that not only R&D was, uh, was getting under pressure, but our entire operations as well. Our customers typically want to, uh, to be delivered within the same month. Electronic components, however, have lead times of 20 weeks and longer. At Barco, we can only operate in a procured forecast model, but more variants uh, made it tougher to forecast. Wrong forecast was leading immediately to unhappy customers or overstock and inventory write-offs. The increased product variety puts stress on production, planning, procurement, and even suppliers. More variance leads to smaller procurement quantities, so less economies of scale and thus higher costs. In fact, the whole backend was suffering. There's two ways to retain your profit margins. Either you increase your prices to pay for those extra costs. In our case, that would mean a price increase of 5 to 10 percent. Or you invest in an improved operating model. Barco chose the latter. I give the, the floor back to Robert to explain what we did. Barco Healthcare introduced platforms to cope with the rapid increase in product variety in its medical displays. Platforms can be seen as a holy grail to keep operational costs under control. A platform is a common design which forms the basis for a variety of end products. Now, the concept of platforms is not new. It's a means to execute the mass customization principle to combine the benefits of mass production, thanks to standardization and scale economies, with the ability to offer a wide variety of customized products. The use of platforms is well known in automotive, where a common chassis of a car is used to create different models by simply adding or removing components to the platform. 
At Barco, we use the printed circuit board as a common platform from which a set of medical display variants can be derived. Barco had already experimented with the introduction of platforms back in 2009. Inspired by the design for supply chain movement, they introduced modularity and commonality to reduce its working capital requirements in the aftermath of the financial crisis. They developed one modular platform called the P900 from which all medical displays could be derived. It worked like the Lego toys. A common signal board was used for all product variants and by connecting extra customization boards, they could make each product functionality. However, this did not deliver the benefits they hoped for. The connection of these modules through connectors and the overlap in components in the different modules was very expensive. In addition, as this platform had to cover all possible product variants, it was over-designed for the mid- and low-end products in order to meet the, the requirements of the high-end product variants. So the result of this platform implementation for the diagnostic displays was disappointing. It made Barco realize that despite the promising advantages of product platforms, a successful implementation of platforms is not straightforward. If not well implemented, the introduction of platforms could even lead to higher operational costs. In 2012, Barco got engaged in a European research program to develop scientific models to enable the introduction of platforms in Barco's healthcare division. We developed operations research models to support Barco in the following questions. First, can the introduction of platforms be cost beneficial for Barco's medical portfolio? If yes, how many platforms should Barco develop given the scope of its product portfolio? Is it advisable to have one common platform for all product variants, or can the introduction of multiple platforms be cost beneficial? And in the latter case, how should the platforms be configured? What is the desired level of over versus under design of the platforms in order to avoid the high costs that were experienced with the previous introduction of the P900 platform? Finally, which products should be derived from which platforms. The use of a scientific and rigorous approach was important to the management team of Barco Healthcare, and it is also well supported by the current CEO of Barco. With Barco, we are operating in very exciting global markets. But these markets are also highly competitive with players from the Americas, Asia, and Europe. There's just no status quo where we are playing. Now, what we've seen is that one competitive differentiator, apart from technology innovation, is increasingly being linked again with the ability to make the product, intellectual property and process design, as well as the ability to have a steady capability to drive cost productivity while delivering at the quality and the flexibility levels that customers require. That's why we love teaming up with leading institutions like Vleric to bring that next generation thinking around operational research and marry it with Barco's contemporary experiences. From previous experiences, we had learned that technology platforming was a key driver in both cost and flexibility. To make the operational research successful and impactful, sufficient attention on a business level is key to find and then achieve an optimum across multiple departments, from R&D to sourcing to planning to manufacturing, shipping, service and even end-of-life management. Now that is where engagement of senior leaders is so key to help teams be transparent across the organization, collaborate to find the optimal solution and then redeploy resources and processes where needed to implement. We were able to simulate the total costs, enabling us to find objective and optimal solutions. With the overall result that we could optimize the use of two core assets in Barco, R&D and operations. An achievement which would never have been possible without the support of senior leaders like Pete Van Dale.
Let me elaborate on the operations research model we developed to cost-efficiently introduce platforms at Barco. A key aspect of our model is that it includes all relevant costs that are impacted by platforms. The introduction of platforms has an impact on R&D, on procurement, on inventory management, and on manufacturing. As a result, each department has its own opinion on how the optimal platform configuration should look like. By developing a comprehensive cost model that takes into account the input from these different departments, we obtain an objective tool that has stopped the endless philosophical discussions between the different departments on how the optimal platform should look like. Now, the goal of our model is to determine how many platforms should be developed and assign each product in the portfolio to these platforms. And we do this by minimizing all costs impacted by this product platform decision under the constraint that the desired product quality requirements are met. Now, the costs we have taken into account can be categorized into development costs, purchasing costs, inventory-related costs, and transformation costs. And we looked at these costs on the level of platforms, as well as on the level of customizing these platforms into final products. For instance, for development costs, we took into account the time needed to develop a platform from scratch, the cost of the R&D engineer, and the design time needed to readjust the platform to new product variants. And we also included learning effects when some designs and our architectures can be reused when developing multiple platforms. And we noticed at Barco that the use of platforms reduced total development time considerably compared to developing each product from scratch. Now, for the purchasing cost, we looked at the costs to make or buy the platforms and the procurement costs of the components to customize these platforms into final products. Now, at Barco, the production of the platform itself, which are the printed circuit boards, is outsourced. But the customization of the platforms into the product various variants is done in-house. Now, as platforms increase the commonality, Barco was able to obtain higher quantity discounts, reducing the purchasing cost of the printed circuit boards. But on the other hand, the use of common platforms requires more readjustments by adding extra components, which leads to an increase in purchasing cost of the components. Now, we also quantified the impact on cycle and safety inventory costs on the pooling benefits of platforms, both at the level of the platforms as well as on the level of the components. And for this, we used demand forecasts, information on lead times, service levels, the costs of shortages, and buying quantities. And finally, we looked at we took into account the transformation cost to customize a platform into a final product. And as mentioned, this activity is performed in-house at Barco. Now, without going into detail into the formulas, we calculated the net present value of all costs incurred over the lifetime of a platform. And certain costs like development are only incurred once, while others are recurring every year. And besides the benefits of platforms, such as the reuse of development efforts and the reduced inventory thanks to more commonality, it was important to Barco that we also included the customization cost to adapt the platforms to individual product requirements and the costs related to the components required. Now, by taking into account all these cost factors, we could weigh off both the cost benefits against the disadvantages of a platform implementation. We have expressed all costs in function of a binary decision matrix that assigns the different platforms to the products in the portfolio. Now let us focus on this decision matrix that we want to optimize. So the product portfolio of the medical diagnostic displays 
consists of 17 different products with different features. For instance, they differ in the number of megapixels, 3, 4, or 12, and some are in color, while others are in black and white. We have ranked these products from low to higher end, as their related costs also typically increase with its functionality. Next, we looked at the possible printed circuit boards that fit with the requirements of the different products, which could serve as the platforms. When each of these 70 platforms would be developed, there's no commonality. But at the other extreme, when you develop only one platform for all 70 product variants to obtain maximal commonality, you can either underdesign the platform and develop only the lowest stem platform, or over-design the platform by developing the highest end platform or somewhere in between. Alternatively, you can develop a number of platforms, with some being under-designed to some products, while others being over-designed to some products. Now, you can see that there are different scenarios, and depending on the configuration, the cost factors discussed before will change. And by evaluating these costs for the different scenarios, we can then determine the configuration that minimizes total costs. As a result of this exercise, we then know which platforms need to be developed and which products should be derived from these platforms. However, for a portfolio of 10 product variants, there are 10 billion different product platform scenarios that need to be evaluated. Hence, for Barco's portfolio of 17 product variants, a sophisticated solution procedure was required. As our assignment problem is NP heart and binary nonlinear, we developed factoring rules that can be implemented in a branch and bounds solution procedure, but also in heuristics, like simulated annealing and genetic algorithms. Now, these rules reduce the number of scenarios for which the total cost performance should be evaluated, as they will never lead to an optimal solution. For a portfolio of 17 products, the federal rules help to exclude more than 99% of the scenarios, which leads to huge benefits in computation time. And this also allowed us to do sensitivity analysis on the input parameters, such as demand forecast and the various cost inputs. Now, when we ran our models to Barco's diagnostic imaging portfolio, we found that the costs related to the platforms increased very rapidly compared to the gains in customization when developing more platforms. Now, it turned out that the development of three platforms seemed to be a robust solution. It was optimal to develop a low-end, a mid-end, and a high-end platform, which are then respectively used to derive 10 product variants, six variants, and one very high-end product variant. Now, Christophe will now elaborate on the implementation of this project at Barco and how it has impacted the company. Let's have a look at the timeline of our project. We noticed in 2011 that we needed to take another approach. So therefore, we have set up this, set up this whole project. First, we focused on understanding the market and the product features versus the product costs. Then we worked in conjunction with R&D to develop the operational research model and test different platform scenarios. When our optim optimization model showed that three platform variants in a schematic platform was the way to go, the platform team started designing those three platform variants sequentially. Schematic means that R&D starts from a common architecture and derives three platform variants from this. Once it was clear how the platform variants should look like, the product design team could start the designs of the displays using those platforms. So at this moment, all major diagnostic imaging products are derived from this platform variance. And diagnostic imaging is even starting the next platform cycle. So it means we're going to start all over again for the next generation. 
We also invested whether it was worth investing in a common platform for our review displays together with our in interactive patient care products using OR model, the OR model that we have. And we found that the total cost would increase with 6%. So we abandoned this plan. The model saved us here from making a bad investment. Later on, the other healthcare segments adopted the same platform approach. And now we are at the business results of this platform impl implementation. Um, in the next movie, you will hear some testimoni testimonials from our management. The platform approach results in increased commonality of the components used in the different products. For operations, this has a number of significant advantages. The increase in product variance doesn't lead to more work in the planning and purchasing department. Over the last years, the number of variants has increased with 10% per year, and this can be managed with the same planning and purchasing headcount. But the most important improvement is the increased flexibility. We can offer more product variants to our customers with better customer service, less inventory, and better financials. The figures since 2014 speak for themselves. Despite 10% more variants every year, the delivery performance index improved with 5%, the safety stocks lowered with 9%, and the excess inventory write-offs reduced to one-third. The platform design clearly helped us to improve customer satisfaction and financial performance at the same time. The new platform approach influences the product development process in many different positive ways. First of all, it allows us to work more efficiently. If you think about it, we are now able to do more product developments, more new products in the same time with the same number of people in our team. This is very important for us because sometimes finding new people, skilled engineers, is becoming difficult and it can become a bottleneck in our product development department. So being able to do more with the same people is very important. Another aspect which is very important for us is making the product development process more reliable. Until a few years ago, we were working with individual development projects and it was very difficult to estimate when a product would be ready to launch, when a product would be ready for sales. Now with the platform approach, our average delay has gone down to less than 5%. So we are, as an organization, we are becoming much more reliable. We are convinced that the platform approach is the right approach for the product development in Barco Healthcare. We started a few years ago with diagnostic imaging. In the meantime, we have released all our diagnostic imaging products based on the platform approach. And we are now extending the approach. We are also using this approach for surgical imaging products and clinical review displays. And going forward, we will only use the platform approach in Baco Healthcare. To me, the major business gain is that we became more flexible and faster in execution. On the R&D side, we can now design more products leading to more earnings. We can introduce twice as many variants with the same R&D efforts, which leads to additional gross profits of at least 5 million euro per year. In operations, we can deliver faster. This means happier customers, earlier cash collection, and less need for safety stocks. All in all, this will lead to a reduction of 1 million euro per year in working capital requirement. This increased flexibility was also an important enabler to make the factory ready for an assemble to order approach. Prior to this project, R&D, marketing and supply chain had very different opinions on a platform approach. Platform discussions always ended up in philosophical discussions where little decisions could be derived from. But with operations research, we could translate those philosophical discussions into dollars. Suddenly, discussions became objective rather than subjective. Vrilik and supply chain, uh, Barco supply chain, had financial and mathematical knowledge, but a close collaboration with the other departments in the company, like product management, R&D, procurement, was needed to develop a realistic platform approach. You also need knowledge about cost structure of your products and even about raw materials that you source. Other major product info is what product portfolio would you like to offer in the future? So the R&D process, a core process within our company, 
was impacted the most by this project. We spend about 10% of our sales on R&D. So innovation is really in the DNA of our company. So somehow it was strange that the project was run by the supply chain department. This project would have never been, never have been possible without, without a strong buy-in from R&D itself. The fact that Mold programmed this uh, operational research model in MATLAB helped as well. MATLAB is also used by our research engineers to create new products and to, to find new things. So this helps to create mutual trust between the two teams. Important if you start from an underdog position. By offering the R&D team or support, we came to improvements where both R&D and operations could benefit from. This improved efficiency allows Barco to spread new technologies faster among hospitals and patients. To add a concrete example, our Illuminate feature can increase the probability of breast cancer detection by 30%. So introducing such feature faster in the market literally saves thousands of lives. Our general manager of healthcare shares his view on the impacts of using platforms on society. We constantly strive to bring the latest technology to the radiologists in the field. Uh, the latest technology, visual technology, allows the doctor really to, di to diagnose much more quicker and much more accurately if, there is, if the patient has a uh, early cancer development uh, or not. And being able to introduce that technology quickly into the marketplace really helps us to save more life or helps the doctor to save more life in day-to-day -day operations in the hospital. So the platform strategy was very important for us to be a vehicle and an avenue through which we can deploy that technology quickly into the marketplace. Using the platform and being able to derive uh, derivative products quickly afterwards allows us always to uh, introduce the latest technologies, the latest software into our products. So that was important in terms of detection capability for the doctors. Secondly, what is also very important in today's healthcare world is to be able to offer very cost competitive solutions. Eh? Budgets uh, on the healthcare systems are getting tighter uh, everywhere across the world. Uh, so we, we are able, we should, we should also be able to hit the budget that hospitals have for deploying new technology in, uh, in their hospitals. And the platform strategy is also a way to introduce in a very efficient, low-cost manner products into the field. We have high-end products, mid-end products, low-end vol uh, volume products based on the same platform. And so that allows us both to introduce new technology and quality products in the field, but at the same time do this at a very cost-effective level. The use of platforms might also bring value, value to your company, but what we have learned is it can also destroy value at your company. So if you would like to use, start using platforms in your company, please take away these next points with you uh, to your company. First of all, think outside of the box. Um, it does not need to be some kind of a Lego approach like we tried and failed with in 2009. If you keep uh, the commonality on a design level, you can also harvest within your supply chain. Secondly, um, take into account all aspects of costs uh, in your chain, or you might, might end up worse off than before. And also, compose your team well, because chances are very slim that you will find all the knowledge that you need within one department. Like in any team, trust will be crucial, so it is best to assign an operations researcher that is able to connect on a personal level with, different, uh, with people from a different background. And most important, speak one language across the team. And the easiest language might be just dollars. In case you would like to get in touch with us to inquire more information on the project, you can reach us via our email. To conclude this presentation, we prepared a short recap. Sit back, relax, and thank you very much for your uh, attention. Barco's healthcare department produces high-tech medical displays. As the number of product variants almost doubled over the past four years, its operations were under pressure. Barco therefore explored the potential of introducing commonality through platforms. As all product variants include a printed circuit board, that was chosen as the common platform. 
The project started with mapping all costs impacted by the use of platforms such as the cost of R&D, inventory, procurement, manufacturing, and customization of the platforms into product variants. Then, an operations research model was created to determine the optimal degree of commonality to manufacture the 17 different product variants. More specifically, the model determines the impact of costs on either changing the number of product platforms and changing which product variants should be manufactured by which platform. By comparing and evaluating the different scenarios on the different costs, the platform configuration with the lowest total cost was determined. The optimal setup minimizes the total cost for Barco by balancing both platform and customization costs. For this specific project, the total costs were lowest for Barco when using three product platforms to create the 17 product variants. Interesting. But what was the impact of the introduction of platforms? Great question. First of all, our model supports cross-functional collaboration by quantifying all impacts across divisions. Second, as R&D now develops new products with a platform-based technology in mind, the time to market has gone down by 50%. They now develop twice as many products with the same engineering team, resulting in increased gross revenues. Furthermore, safety inventories are reduced by 10%, while working capital improved by half a million dollars because of more on-time deliveries. But most importantly, the increased supply chain flexibility has enabled Barco to keep production in-house and to focus on what really matters making the best medical technology to protect and save the lives of patients worldwide. Thank you very much.